Hi guys, welcome back. So, uh, Spintice gave us another update with the uh, new map uh, flood, but unfortunately now the user-made maps aren't working anymore. So, uh, if I wanted to play this map, for example, and I start, I get this error. It doesn't say anything. So, to fix this, we can actually go back a version uh, to the old version of Spintice. Uh, to do this you go to steam and there you go to library and here are all your games and then you right click spin tires and you go to properties page and there you'll find betas tab and here you choose legacy build and then you close it and it will start updating automatically it will take a second so after it's finished downloading, it will have legacy behind it. And now you can just play spin tires like you normally would. Just double click it. And if we choose that same map again now, you can see Flood has disappeared since that, since that wasn't in the last build. But if you select that same map, then you play a start game now and it will start perfectly, no problem. So that's it. And uh, I'll show you quickly how to add a new map. I mean, it's the same as adding vehicles, but I'll show you guys anyway. So I just downloaded this uh, off-road park map. And uh, just open the zip file and you'll find uh, this folder called levels. You can copy that and then you go to your Steam directory. Easiest way is to do, uh, to do that is to go to properties of spin tires and then local files and then browse local files that uh, will send you directly to the right directory and just copy or paste that um, levels map folder inside the media folder just overwrite everything and that's it so if i start up spin tires again now you'll see um, this new map edit so if I select play, and here you go, level of road park has been added. I haven't actually checked this one out yet, so I'll make another video uh, for that. Um, if all this still doesn't work, I still have one more tip you can do. What I sometimes do when Spintires isn't cooperating, uh, I clear my app data. Um, to go there you go to percent app data percent and there you have a folder called spin tires as well and you can just delete that if you delete it your save games will be deleted as well and all your settings will be deleted so now that it is gone um, you can just restart spin tires again and the game will be reset as you can see I have no more I had a, a floppy disk here because I could continue this map and that's gone now. So um, yeah, that's about it. If you guys still have any questions, just let me know and I'll try to answer them. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.